Okay, I'm back. And first off, happy birthday, Tyra. I have nothing against Tyra Banks. Um, I think I watched her show all the time. America's Next Top Model. I mean, that was the shit. And I think she taught a lot of people quite a bit about the business. And she was giving them opportunities. But after hearing about how she really was and how she really didn't talk to the contestants at all, that she made it seem like she did, and how after the fact she kind of blew them off and, I don't know, wouldn't respond to their instant messages or what have you. But also the fact that she made all that money off of them just... It was like slave labor. That's, that's the way I feel. I'm sorry. I know that sounds harsh because they're just modeling and, you know, I don't know. I feel like she, she's kind of shady. She's a little shady. So one of her models, um, she was called out for paying America's Sex Top Model contestants as little as $40 a day. And that's just for like the basics. That's for food and cigarettes if they smoke I think she stopped allowing people to smoke but um yeah there's so much coming out about her again um yeah I was I interviewed one Lisa and she's been very forthcoming about all that's happened and we didn't really get into the top model thing because I really wanted to know about her invention and so yeah, when I tried to go there, she got a little pissed. And so I, I went back and I said, okay, forget, let's talk about your invention. But of course I was curious, but, um, somebody named Oliver Twist did it and he did a great job of interviewing all of these models. And so, yeah, okay. We got in a little fight, but if you want to <laughs> check out what they have to say, you should go to that channel. And, um, I can't remember this. This her Sarah. Okay, former plus size model Sarah Hart's Hartshorn. She appeared on Cycle Nine of the show. I'm sorry, I'm really tired, <laughs> as usual. Um, in 2007, responding to a tweet from November 30th, she confirmed that she not that not only were contestants paid such a paltry amount, but they also had to pay for their own food. Okay. Yeah. So, okay, th this ex America's Next Top Model is speaking out, Sarah. I remember her. I do. Um, uh, so what do you think? If you're on a reality show and it's a competition and you're all fighting for the title of America's Next Top Model. Should you be paid? I, I think so. I think, well, Big Brother, I know that the contestants on Big Brother, they get a certain amount of money for however long they stay in the house. And then if they get to the end, they get the big jackpot, of course. But they get paid to be there, you know? They don't waste people's time. You know, these people, they're all very young. It's true. I mean, most of the, I think the oldest person on the show was like 26, maybe. Maybe older. Actually, I'm trying to think. I think there was somebody that was 32. Celia. I think Celia, maybe, was 32. I can't remember. I know there was one that was like early 30s. But these women have lives and they have things to do with their lives. And some of them, you know, took time off of school and relationships and dreams that they've had. And so I believe that Tara should have shared some of that wealth, that money she had coming in from the show. $40 a day just doesn't cut it. And so she's living living it up with all the money that she made off the show and the girls meanwhile are trying to find work still no matter how many years it's been they're still like okay people know me from that show but I didn't get paid for that show and I don't think they get residuals I'm not sure 
and might want to check on that. But also, I just don't, like I said, I don't like the way she treated them. On the show, I really did think that she was like this mentor. And she always says, well, Mama Bear is trying to protect you. Or, you know, she would say things like that. And so I thought that they, I, don't, I didn't think they all hung out after. But I thought she was cool with her, with her girls. You know, that she would come by the, the condo or whatever. I, you know, we've seen her do it. So I thought, oh, she's going to stop by and hang out with them and they're going to have some champagne or whatever. I don't know what I thought, honestly. But I do know that a lot of girls have spoken out and um, they're all on Oliver's channel. And ooh, some of the stuff that's been coming out has been crazy. And also the fact that so entire back then we're making bank. Yeah, somebody said um, the fact that girls on AMTM were getting paid forty dollars an episode, and Tyra and the judges were making bank is kind of sick. Yeah, I mean they were getting paid. I mean you've you've seen how Tyra lives. It wasn't that wasn't just from her modeling. You know, to be honest, she does she definitely worked. I mean she was a successful model and what have you. But usually you can't really almost kind of retire the way she has except for I think she came out with the smize line or some makeup line where she made up little nicknames for um certain like uh, smizing you know so she made um she created a line for that I think which I mean that's great she's a great business she is a great businesswoman you know you got to give her props for that um, but I didn't know they had to pay for their own food and some people, I think I heard some people like just gave up their apartments and had to move back in with their parents and that there was a stigma attached to those that had been on the show. And so some of them would go to agencies and they would say, oh, well, they wanted nothing to do with us because we're from America's Next Top Model. So I don't know, man. I don't know. Like I said, I really wanted to like Tyra. <laughs> She's like the ultimate diva, the ultimate just queen, you know, just. And there were so few successful African-American models back then that were just working it. And she did all that. I mean, she did high fashion and she also did Victoria's Secrets and all of that. But near the end of her career, I think it was just like Sports Illustrated and back, um, and Victoria's Secrets. And they're not doing that anymore. They're not doing the Angels, thank God, because, God, every year there is that, that stupid runway show with the Angels. And it's women, real women don't look like that. <laughs> you know, it's, it's weird. You know, when you look at models back in the day, they were real women you know they didn't they weren't like six feet tall skinny and clothes could just hang off of them they liked women that could fill out the clothes you know and yeah everything's all ass backwards you know now it's like okay the skinnier the better the taller the better uh yeah you know when i was in that business i didn't get those jobs i didn't get runway i would do um little shows here and there uh, like petites, you know, I would do the petite shows, the fashion shows, but never like New York high, you know, whatever. Everyone had a certain category of what type of model. Um, I was more exotic, erotica, you know, um, bathing suits, lingerie, petite clothing, um, catalog sometimes for petites even though you can't tell how, how tall someone is in a picture you have to be five seven and over and even five seven I think Kate Moss was five seven and she was considered short and I remember what a big deal that was everyone's like oh my god she's like only five seven I'm like that's why you know my my sister was like five eight and she modeled a lot and um yeah I was shorter than she was she got my dad's height. I got my mom's height. So in any event, um, Tara, I guess, is a little greedy, you know, a little selfish. And I do believe that she used these women to make money. 
And some of these, it really upsets me too, is that Adrian, the very first America's Next Top Model, didn't really get anything that was promised to her. You know, that's what she said. I think she got one of the prizes. But other than that, she got screwed. And she's never even brought up, you know, as far as Tyra is concerned, she doesn't exist. And then I'm trying to think of the second one. Um, so this is where Oliver does these shows because he knows all of this. But, um, yeah, all right. So this is my vent for tonight. Let's talk about Tyra. And I think the melatonin, melatonin that I took is actually working because I feel a little dizzy and I'm tired. Well, it is four o'clock in the morning. My brother and my sister are coming over tomorrow. I'm very excited to see them. But I wanted to talk about this because I know that uh, this is kind of in the news right now. And so, yeah, tell me what you think. Do you think that Tyra should have paid the woman what they deserve to be paid for working? It, they were working. I feel they should have, just like on Big Brother. I mean, this is entertainment. And they were putting themselves out there. And the only way that Tyra get paid is if these women performed. And it wasn't just modeling. It was all their personal business as well coming out. And, you know, they showed everything behind the scenes. Not everything, but they showed a lot of behind the scenes things. But also them creating drama, you know. A producer would whisper in the other girl's ear and, oh, she said this about you. And the next thing you know, people are fighting. So I just feel like these girls got so ripped off. And then they got kind of ostracized in the business as not real models. But yet the Kardashian kids are real models. You go figure. There's only one of those Kardashians that has every right to call herself a top model. And she would have been probably some sort of model maybe not a top model because she had her you know some face work done she had like little freckles and she had like a bigger nose and really small lips and i think her name's kylie i don't know but she wouldn't have gotten work the same way she couldn't have gotten the butt implants and you know all of that she had a lot of surgery to be able to be an influencer and to model and I don't believe that the before pictures of her could have gotten that without her fame and the money. And so, yeah, not everyone could do that. But the older, the older one of the two, um, see, I go blank when it comes, they're all the same to me. You know, I don't even know. Um, one of them definitely would have been a top model, actually not a top model. She would have been a model, but she wouldn't have gotten in the shows that she's gotten in without the name without some money being exchanged, maybe buying her way in. And she's beautiful. She's tall, skinny. You know, she has that model look. But the truth is, there's a lot of beautiful women out there. And a lot of them are way prettier than her and have very unique, very distinct characteristics. And they were all natural. She's not natural. She's another one that had some work done on herself, if you see the before and after. Okay, so... Yeah, I think she still would have modeled, but not the way she is, you know, not modeling for Versace and Gucci and all of that. So that business is really just hardcore. And so Tyra figured out a way to capitalize off of it, which was a great idea. But I do believe she should have shared the wealth. And the winner, how much did the winner get? I think it was $100,000 and a contract with uh, CoverGirl. I haven't watched an episode of that for like 10 years. I think that was the prize, yeah. So, yeah, I, I remember seeing some of the girls have a cover girl contract and you would see them sometimes. But other than that, I just, first off, $100,000 isn't shit. Um, <laughs> I mean, even Big Brother, they give you, you know, two fifty, And now they're up to, I think it was only the season though. But I think they were up to 750000 I can't remember the exact. It was over over half a million. So, yeah, you know what? At least pay them by the day or the month. You know, give them, like, Hugh Hefner. <laughs> Hugh Hefner gave his girls an allowance. And I think it was like 4000 a month. 
I think that's what Holly said. I don't know if she's telling the truth or not. But um, if you haven't read Holly Madison's book, read it. It's, yeah, there's some good, there's some good shit in there. There's some tea being spilt and it's very juicy. But I think they got paid even $4,000 a month. But that was just for an allowance. When they did um, The Girls Next Door, I think they were getting paid like 300000 an episode. or I can't remember, but it was a lot of money. It was enough for them to all go on and still be able to kind of live in that lifestyle to a certain extent. Okay, so here I am in bed again. I'm extremely tired, but you know what? I wanted to talk about Tyra. <laughs> Let's talk about it. So if you have anything you want to um, interject and talk about, go ahead, uh, make a comment. And if you think I'm wrong, I'm totally cool with that. Make a comment. But yeah, $40 a day was total bullshit, considering all the work that they did. And considering that they thought that this was going to lead to more. And most of them you've never seen again. And the ones that you didn't expect to see again are just kicking ass. I can't remember what her name is. I think she came in second the first season. El Elise? Elise. Yeah, Elise. She was like runner-up against Adrian. And they seemed to be good friends. But then Elise totally stabbed her in the back. And yeah, it was just, that's a whole other story that I heard about. But yeah, she became like a huge model in Japan and all over the world. But um, they really liked her look. And like I said, it's not even about, it's not about fake. It really isn't. The models are all really unique. And that's why I don't think the um, Kardashian daughter would have made it as big as she has. I think they would have chosen more cool, unique women, you know, that are beautiful, but, you know, have that something, something. You know, they didn't get their nose done because that makes them different and unique. Okay, so I'm going to let you go now, 17 minutes in, still talking about Tyra, and I'm actually falling asleep, and I have to have breakfast with my brother and sister <laughs> not the one that uh, faked her own death um, yeah we don't even know what the hell is going on with her but I know she's alive alright peace out and um, that's that